So the front of it or whatever it is is uh, white. So you can imagine that, um, well, they all look pretty good with the colors actually. Um, but yeah, this is the your, the very first one. You can see how the first one has a, um, it's like your typical white color. So it, the, the color of it is just your typical white. Um, I thought it was going to be the same thing for this one, but it's different. It's a little bit nice, but it would be even funner if it had a white one. I wonder what it would look like. But I don't want to customize it, though, even though I could, but no, I can't do that. I already have one that is a custom anyways. So, pretty much, so the metal camper, so it's only this part here that is metal, the camper, but the front of it is plastic. Although, keep in mind that I painted this to make it look like a separate thing. But this actually, this top part actually goes to here. Here's a, what it would look like if it wasn't painted, but you can imagine. I think you guys know what it would look like if I didn't customize it, but yeah. So, it has a thing on the top of it. It actually, it's actually see-through the window. If I reflect it here, it's very, very tough to show, but it, it's hard to see, but it's you can actually see through. Um... You can, so, if I, if I try to, um, it's pretty hard to see, but if I was reflecting, here, let's, here we go, see how it's see-through? It's very, very tough for me to, um, yeah, it's pretty tough, but you can see how, you can actually see what's in there. So, you may think that the windows are tinted or something like that. They are tinted, but they're not like, uh, like you can actually, I can actually see the, um, I don't know if you see that, you see something straight going down. That's the, the post that actually comes down and attaches from here to the plastic chrome base. And here's the base. It's actually very, very shiny, like a mirror. And, yeah. And it's pulling this pretty cool looking trailer, which is metal. You got the windows there. You got a spare tire, which I don't see on trailers that much. Nowadays, the trailers look more um, square, obviously. They're not so rounded, although um, this one looks more like the Airstream trailers. But it'll look even more realistic if it actually had four, uh, two more wheels. But yeah, so this was the very first one. The first one had a white trailer camper it actually does not articulate or you cannot detach it um but it still looks very cool and it's very creative i like how they did it but you would imagine that it actually attaches from here but there it is it says rv there yet um so this was the first one it had a yellow and white striping and a red car with a white trailer that was the very first variant now let's take a look at the second variant. Keep in mind this actually has a slightly different color um, variant. So here's the blue one. The blue one, like the decals are like the same thing. Like they both have the same exact stripes. But there is one difference though is that... And in the box it looked... It, in the box it actually has like a red striping but it kind of looks like orange instead. I'm not so sure if it's me, but the color of that reddish looking stripe looks orange, but uh, actually it is red, I don't know. It's like a reddish, it's more red, but it is kind of orange at the same time. But yeah, here's the other one. You can see the, the wheel actually floats because that one is actually not a real wheel, it's actually a fake wheels, except for this one and this one. But yeah, here's the first one, uh, I meant the second one. So the second one has a blue, like this is blue. It does still have the same color of striping, the white, but for this other one it's different. I already told you what it was, it's like red or something. Um. Same thing, fake wheels. This time I didn't customize it, so you can see what it looks like now. And 
pretty much like all of them, you can still see through, like if you can see. Um, it also has the spare wheel. It's pretty much the same casting, just different colors. And this time, the paint on this looks a little bit more like a thicker enamel. And it also is like, um, it's a different color, obviously. So the previous one was white. Now we have this one, which, well, I don't know. It kind of, it's like similar to this one, but I kind of think this one looks better. But this one is supposed to be, um, yeah, so it's the same thing. This is like another trailer, but this time we have it in like a grayish, I think it's like a light gray color. Not bad, actually. It's not ugly, but it looks okay. I kind of like this one better, or this one. But yeah, here is the, so, yeah, so just like the other one, it has the, um, has a spare wheel there. I did not paint the light, so this is what it would look like. Also has a window on top, and it has this. So this thing goes down like that, and then goes through the pivoting thing. Uh, the, the rivet thing. Um, it does not turn. Pretty much the whole thing turns, but you, because this is actually just one, one car. You cannot actually detach it, even though it does look like it would be two cars. Well, this is not a car. Um. But even though it doesn't really move, I are still really, like, I was so excited to find it. And it's pretty interesting that I was able to find the first variant, and this one, and this one. Hopefully I want to see what the other variant of that one is. Um, so, just like the other one, it says, are we there yet? And it has, um, rolls quite good. Actually rolls better than this one, but that's because this one was kind of worn out a little bit. Yeah. So the only difference about this one is that the color of it is blue, like a light baby blue, I guess. And the camper or the trailer is like a, like a grayish, it's like a grayish, um, I guess it's supposed to look like this one, but it's more painted instead of just polished, um, trailer. So it's nice that you get to have one that is like a baby blue color with a red looking striping and... Even the decals are like a different shade of color. And the trailer is uh, gray instead of um, the, uh, white. Um, but it does have a bit of shininess to it. So maybe it's supposed to be like this uh, Airstream one. But they still look good though anyways. So yeah. So just like the other one. They're both the same thing. Same size. Obviously just the colors and the... Like they both have the same thing, like the stripes and the decal there and decal there. It's just, obviously, the way how the colors are inverted, it's different. So, yeah. So, that was, um, that was this one. That was the second color. Um, now we have the third one that we have for now. Um, this is the, um, and... So here's the other one. Here's like the third variant. Um, I hopefully I think when they come out with another one, it's gonna have the same thing, the same exact decals. Just obviously the color of the like the plastic is gonna be different. So as the trailer. But this is what we got for now, folks. So I try to search something up, and this is the only three I can find, which I do have. I have the red one, the blue one, and the yellow one. So here's the uh, yellow one. Um, so this is the yellow version. The yellow version has a... Um, so this time the decals are different. This time it has a... Uh, like it's supposed to look like one of those uh, woody wagons. Or those wagons that are half wood and half metal. That's actually pretty nice in my opinion. I think it looks good. Um... And it also has this, uh, I think it's like a, it's like this here, it's showing me this or something. I don't remember what that logo is. And it has the Hot Wheels, it actually says, uh, I think it says Stain Safari or, or is it saying Safari Safari? I'm not so sure what it's saying. Uh, I think it says Safari, but I don't know what the other one is, unless if it's the same thing. But here's the, um, so you get a yellow cab, or not a cab, but a yellow car instead. 
and the decals are different. They're supposed to represent like a, it's not a Woody's wagon, but it's those ones that are half wood and half, uh, I don't know if you remember that car called the Surf and Turf, but it's like that wagon where half of it is like wood, like here, and the other part would be metal. They actually used to do that in like the 40s or like in those old times back then. They didn't do it anymore because I think it could have like, uh, maybe it could get moldy or it rot or something. Uh, so they just, because the metal, I believe, would last more than just the wood. But yeah, so that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to replicate it. Um, and just like the other one, it also, like, it's the same thing, obviously. It's just a different color and decals. This one also rolls good, and it also, uh, just like the other one, you can see through. And here's the, uh, and, th and this is the trailer here. The trailer actually, it looks like it's like from bare metal. It's like if they didn't even paint it, but what they did was instead just, uh, they polished the thing up and then they clear coated it. That is kind of unique in my opinion. It doesn't, it, it feels like it's, it kind of, like I thought it was going to feel rougher, but it actually feels the same as this one. I think it's baked on in a... I, what they did was that I would imagine they could have polished the thing, so that's why it looks very shiny, like a mirror, shinier than this one. Uh, second of all, they probably also, um, well, when they were done polishing it, they probably used an enamel clear coat, like a clear coat enamel, and then did, they just spray painted it, and it just feels like, it just feels the same as this, but you can, yeah. So this is actually bare metal. Like, this is what the metal would look like on all of these campers if they did not paint it. Um, I guess they were trying to replicate those Airstream trailers. It actually it almost does look like especially how round it is, but uh, obviously the wheels, like the way how it looks is a little bit incorrect. But that's just like, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to replicate it. It still looks good anyways. Usually they would have like, Four wheels, I believe, not one. Um, but it still looks very cool anyway. So, just like the other ones, they have a, a wheel there, lights there, the casting goes from there, and then the cab. I kind of like this one more because the way how it looks is like more realistic, I think. So, so... It's very nice that the, um, because now you know what the metal would look like of this, uh, trailer or this camper if they did not paint it. So if they didn't do what they did where they painted these two, but they left it like this, that's what it would look like. And, and, uh, the reason why they don't, it doesn't really feel rough is because they like clear coated it. So when they clear coated it, it's like a shield that just, um, it's like this plastic looking shield. So that's why you cannot, like it's not that rough looking because they decided to spray paint it with an enamel clear coat. So, well, I'm not so sure if it's enamel, but it feels enamel. It, enamel is like this, uh, it's like the nail polish. It's like very, very tough. Like you cannot scratch it that much as regular oil-based uh, spray paint that you would find. So, yeah, so that's what they did. They clear coated this with an, probably an enamel paint or something and then they left it to dry and you can see how shiny it is. You can actually kind of see me a little bit. You can kind of see me but it's very, I mean it's not as shiny as like this chrome base but it is still, like you can, like I have a reflection of my finger there so yeah. I actually like this one more because it reminds me of the Airstream trailers even though I pretty much like all of them. Um, but yeah, so that was variant number three. The variant, the variation on this one was when they, um, they gave this other decal. So instead of having the stripes, they tried to make it look like it was like from the 40s or like from those old times where they used to make cars with wooden, um, like the parts of it were wood. And not only they did that, but they also this time made the trailer look more shiny to try to, I, I, I'm pretty sure they were trying to replicate those Airstream trailers, the ones that were, 
um, the ones that are very shiny, like, they kind of look like a tanker trailer, like those petrol tankers, but obviously it's a trailer, it's like not so rounded, but it's not that square either. Um, I recommend you Google them so that you'll see even better pictures of what it would look like. Um, but yeah, that was variation number three. The first one had a white camper with a red cab. The second one was just like the other one, but this time it was blue and the trailer was um, gray. And this one was a banana looking yellow with a very shiny uh, silver trailer, I guess I'm going to have to call it. But it's pretty much bare metal, but they clear coated it so that it feels just like this. So, I actually really like these vehicles, however, my favorite one I believe is going to be this one, probably because it's new, but I really, really like all of them. They're very unique to the other cars, um, and it's nice to see this type of model because it's better than just getting those regular cars and all the other pickup trucks or other vehicles that are kind of boring. So it's pretty nice to find something like this. Hopefully they have another variant of this one. But these are the only variants that we can find in stores for now. Although you won't be able to find these two, but you might. But they're all expired for now. So yeah. But they're very, very cool looking cars. I really like them. Um, they, both, um, they both are very, very nice. Item, so I recommend if you were a fan of campers and you want to like I recommend it because Because it, it's very very nice looking And I really really like yeah So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please um um uh, Please subscribe and give the video a like and hopefully um I'll eventually do more videos uh, soon. I'll eventually do more videos of the train. Uh, some of them are so big that um, it, it was taking a while to set it up. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this review of these uh, campers. These are we are okay. RV there yet uh, cars. I hope you guys enjoyed those cars and yeah and. Hopefully, um, I'll do a, um, yeah, so I'll make more videos, uh, soon, but yeah, see both of you, uh, next time. Goodbye. Hey, are we there yet? Did you know that we are all primary colors? I am red. I am blue. And I am yellow, like a banana, like what minions say. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? All of us? Yes? <laughs>